Hey guys, it's Dennis with the Grass Monkey Lawn Care. And uh, today I have a two-part video. One, I received my new mower today while I was out doing a landscaping job. Uh, I was doing a uh, leveling of a yard for a, a customer today. And I'll first hit on that, that landscaping job, then I'm going to do a, like a walk around of the, uh, the mower I got. So kind of in detail as far as what the, the, the job I did today was. Um, I ordered five yards of fill dirt. And, you know, the guy has a uh, laterals in his yard. And the, the ground started to sink in spots. So what he wanted me to do was to take that, that dirt and kind of re-level the yard out for him. So when he mows, he's not doing a real wavy motion. So I took video of it with my phone. I must have did something wrong because when I went to upload it, it would not convert over. It would not do anything. So I apologize. I was really hoping to get that out there to you guys. But for some reason, my Android does not like to put videos uh, into my movie maker for some reason. I don't know what's going on. So, But to make a long story short, uh, that job I did, I definitely underbid the job. Um, I don't do much dirt work, and so this was a real learning experience for me. Um, so in the future, what I'm going to do differently is um, I'm going to reevaluate the bidding process because what I did today was I had a shovel, a landscaper's rake, and a wheelbarrow to move five yards of dirt and if you don't know what five yards of dirt is look it up it is a lot of dirt um, so I'm really sore and tired from that job uh, I would not recommend doing a job like that in the future I think I will go rent me some equipment to move the dirt and make my life a hell of a lot easier so lesson learned you move on you kinda learn from this and uh, don't make the same mistake twice so if you're looking to bid on jobs like that you can use this as advice or not, but that's just kind of what happened to me today. All right, so part two here. While I was out doing that job, my mower was coming to my house, and unfortunately my dirt guy who was dropping off all my dirt was an hour late, so I was not able to meet the gentleman here to see the mower being dropped off. My wife had to sign for everything and let him drop it off. But it is here, and let's kind of check it out a little bit and see what we got. All right, so here we go. This is what I bought. I bought a Gravely ZTXL 42 inch cut. Um, Gravely went to 42, and I want to say 52 only in 2016. This is a brand new mower, just got unboxed. They just put it together for me. Um, so this is it. I went with a 42 inch cut because for one, I don't have the gigantic trailer, and this is gonna fit just perfect on mine. And for two, it's gonna get me into a lot more backyards so that's kind of why I went with a 42 inch. Um, it's going to be a great mower. Uh, Dan from Trimmers has the same exact one I believe. Uh, he really enjoys it. I've watched videos of him cutting with it. Um, so it looks like it performs well. Um, let's kind of do a full walk around here of this mower. Um, in 2016 they did a lot of improvements so I'm glad I waited until this year to get this mower. Um, they've definitely uh, beefed it up um, and kind of made it a really great mower. Um, it does have the Kawasaki motor. I actually paid more to get this this motor on this this mower here. I could have got the Kohler for about oh I think it was about three hundred dollars less, but I chose to go with the Kawasaki motor just because they've kind of dominated the market forever, and I know it's a good motor on there. So that's the motor on this. It's the FR six fifty one V on the motor. The motor. So. Um, Kind of a back view of it. It is a really nice looking mower. I like the orange and black combination of it. It's going to look sharp when we're out there cutting some yards, getting some attention from people driving by. So look at that mower. Man, it looks good. All right. Um, the deck itself is real easy to access. Uh, there's these pins here. You can remove the deck well, probably within 10 minutes tops. But the whole deck will drop. You just pull it right out. Um, so it may make it really easy. The other great thing about this mower this year is they offer three years, no hour uh, on the warranty. So there's no hours. It uh, doesn't matter what how many hours you run on it. They're still going to warranty it for three years. So that was a big selling point for me. Um, the other thing too is, you'll notice here, the side chute is massive. So it's going to shoot out a ton of grass. Just kind of give you an idea how big that is. It's got three blades in there. It's got a high speed to it so it's going to throw out grass, cut it well and I think it's going to perform really really good um, kind of the levers and stuff here 
as you can see it has an hour meter on it it has less it's 0.2 hours on it uh, the other cool thing is it has a dial for your cutting so all you gotta do is step on this pedal right there and then you come back and while you're stepping on that pedal turn that knob to the desired cutting uh, length you'd like to cut on so that makes it really nice the seat is really comfortable it's got the nice Karebly emblem in it now I know I'm going to get some flack about this this mower I mean it is not a commercial mower but it is a commercial deck on the mower so I mean people are going to give me a hard time about not having the commercial mower doing the lawn care that's fine but for me this is the best fit for me um, I did buy this new um, you know, and it, it, it costs some money, but, you know, it's affordable. You know, I mean, I'm still working my other job, and, you know, and the, the payments weren't much. It's $100 a month. So it's not like I went to huge debt and went and bought some $10,000 mower or nothing like that. You know, a lot of my other stuff is paid for in cash. I've been fortunate enough to have money in the bank to pay for things in cash. I just didn't want to spend that much money out of my account to have to pay for this. So I financed it, you know, no big deal. 100 bucks a month is not that bad, you know, so... That's the mower itself. Um, I can't wait to get on and cut it. I have a really big backyard, so I'm going to probably jump on that, you know, and probably next week and just kind of run around with it, you know, kind of figure it out a little bit, you know, the inner, uh, the inner, inner workings of it and making sure that everything's good to go. Um, so that's the mower. I mean, I'm really happy with it. You know, Grayley's a great product. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to cutting with it. You, know, you don't have to have those commercial mowers, you know, you don't have to spend that extra couple thousand dollars. You can cut yards with this thing. I mean, it, it will cut, and it will cut very well. You know, I would put this up against a lot of mowers out there and see the difference. You know, I don't think you're going to see much difference in it. You know, other than if you have a walker or something like that, then, yeah, you might see a little bit of a drastic difference in as far as the striping quality. But overall, this is a good mower, and I look forward to getting some video of sh uh, me mowing with it. Um, so that is it. Um, ZT. XL42 Gravely Kawasaki Motor. Um, feel free to leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of it. You know, you know Dan from Tremors. He actually did a full, more in-depth walk around than I did on mine. So feel free to go over to his uh, channel and check that out. But that is it. That is the mower. That was what the workhorse will be for this uh, coming up season. So I look forward to uh, getting on her and making some stripes and making some customers happy and picking up some yards. So there she is, folks.